Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Roman numerals template which is a notebook file that you can use to create activities for your students to help them learn Roman numerals. You can download the template here. When you have downloaded the template it will look something like this. There's three slides available. The first slide is somewhere where you can put uh, an introduction. It's already got some values of the Roman numerals and the heading there for you. You can simply click four times where it says insert intro here, one, two, three, four, and type in any other information that you might want to put in. You know, might want to talk about, you know, the rules of Roman numerals, um, you know, no more than three in a row, etc. Um, and that it's up to you how much you put in there. Now let's go to the first template slide. The first template slide is basically set up so you can have activities where students are converting numbers from Roman numerals into numbers in our number system. These Roman numerals are all set up using the infinite cloner tool so all you do to create your own activities is drag them down okay now before I show you that I'll say that I recommend you actually clone this slide before you make this activity this activity has got space for five questions and you might decide that you want to actually have ten questions so uh, Let's clone the slide first, so we'll right click on it and choose clone page. Now slides two and three are exactly the same. So let's work on number two first. And to create a quiz for your students, you'd simply say, right, what do we want for number one? We might say, drag three copies of this down. Okay, and obviously the answer is three. So here we'll click four times where it says answer one, one, two, three, four, and we'll type in the answer three. Okay, um, the next number we might want is say six. So we'll drag down the V and one. Okay, and click four times where it says answer two, one, two, three, four, and that's six. Okay, so the thing about this template is it's set up for you to um, create numbers that are relevant for your students. If your students are just beginning, you might just do some very, very simple ones. If they've done it in a previous year and they're just recapping, you might choose to uh, do some larger numbers involving, you know, the C, the D, the M, etc. Okay, now as you can see I've got the screen sh shade set up here. So once you have put in your five questions, and I might pause the video while I put in five, and there you go, you can see I've done it. Once you've put in your questions and your answers, simply drag the screen shade across and now it can be used as a discussion point in your class. You can say, right kids, let's do these five and we'll talk about the answers when you've done them. When they've done them, you can drag the screen shade down from the top to reveal the answers one at a time or, you know, ask a student to come up and, and have a go at uh, dragging it down or, um, you know, get the, um, you know, students to write their answers or whatever. Okay. So that's basically the way that works and this is the clone of that template so if you wanted to do more than five questions go and put your next ones in here. If not just delete that slide if you're happy with five questions and let's talk about this second template. This is basically the reverse of the first one. The first one was talking about writing these numbers, these numbers in Roman numerals in our number system. The second template is for you to put in some numbers uh, in our number system and ask the students to write them in as Roman numerals. So all you do for this one is you just click four times on the black line, four times in quick succession, one, two, three, four, and type in a number, okay, let's say six, okay, and you ask the students to um, write that in Roman numerals. So you can actually do it beforehand if you choose and put these Roman numerals, you simply drag them down, 
behind uh, the screen shade put them there and then drag the screen shade along or you could just leave these blank I'll delete these okay and ignore the screen shade and just ask the students to come up and, and have a go at dragging down the answers and, and seeing if they get them right and having a bit of discussion in your class that way. Okay, I hope that explains the template well enough. If you have any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.